Welcome to the Joy of Music. Featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish. We invite you to meet great composers and performers. Travel to Europe's ancient monasteries and snow-covered Alps. Visit great historical cathedrals and beautiful lakes and gardens. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Praise Him with a psaltery and harp. Praise Him with a trumpet. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. Today we bring you a special program entitled Music and the Bible featuring the organ. Mozart called the organ the king of instruments. And of course, in Psalm 150, we are told to praise the Lord, to praise Him in His sanctuary, to praise Him with the organ. One of the reasons the organ is known as the king of instruments is because it is a combination of most all other orchestral instruments, from the heralding trumpets to the delicate string sounds. There are many moods and attitudes reflected in the Bible, and the organ with its great variation is capable of describing all of them. 
Adoration and thanks to God through music is found in 1 Chronicles 16. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Sing unto him. Sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works.
The experience of praising the Lord through music for his marvelous creation is found in the Psalms. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, and let men say among the nations, The Lord reigneth. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice. Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord. In regard to music and playing an instrument, the Bible even tells us how to play in praise to God. In Psalm 33, it tells us, Sing unto him with a new song. Play skillfully with a loud noise.
the organ with all of its variation capped by the heralding of the trumpets can bring us the mood of rejoicing and exhilaration. The mood of hope and trust in God for eternal life through music is brought to us from the book of Revelation. And the trumpet shall sound, and the dead in Christ shall rise, and we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Music in the Bible often brings to us the mood and description of sorrow and weeping. In Job 30, 31, we read, My harp also is turned to mourning, and my organ into the voice of them that weep. From the majestic Ulm Cathedral in Ulm, Germany, we hear the chorale prelude of Johann Sebastian Bach, My heart is filled with longing.
In offering praise to God, we often combine all of the instruments together. And in doing so on the organ, we pull out all of the stops. The Bible tells us, when the burnt offering began, the song of the Lord began also with the trumpets and with all the instruments ordained by David, king of Israel. Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you a program entitled Music and the Bible, featuring the king of instruments, the organ. We pray that you have been blessed and enriched by the music today. Psalm 150 tells us, Praise ye the Lord, praise him with the organ. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. 